What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we will learn how to play PC games on Android phone using Exagear Emulator. Exagear is a powerful Windows emulator which allows you to run Windows games on the Android device with decent appears and the best graphics quality. Now you might be thinking how this is possible. Believe me, I tried Metal Gear Rising, Max Payne, Final Fantasy, Mafia 2, even GTA 4 on Exagear Emulator. For your kind and Information, Exagure doesn't require high configuration device, even entry level smartphone can achieve 40 to 60 FPS. In this step by step tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to download and install Exagure emulator, settings and best configuration, then control customization, and most importantly, how to manage PC games, then install them on Exagure emulator. You can say it's a A to Z tutorial. My humble request please don't skip watch the full video carefully please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button Before we get started, please see the minimum system requirement it needs to run on your device. Make sure you have Android 10 or higher, at least 6GB RAM and 8GB is most recommended, 4GB free storage on your Android device for system files. If your device have Snapdragon chipset, that's very good, but MediaTek or Mali or other chipset are also supported. Please check the description, I have given the Discord link of Android Visuals novel, this is the community that is developing Exagear, just go through the link and join their server then switch to the server panel you will find update Exagear and mobox from there you can download the multi one setup file which is contains the apk and obb image file download source is a google drive so it will be easy to download these files contains the necessary components to install and run Exagear windows emulator on our android phone since the file is in format we will use the jet archiver application to extract the file jet archiver is a free file manager and it's available on the google play store after extracting the zip you can see it contains three different exagir app and a multi wine file that is actually an obb image file from any of these three app you can install any of them after installation open the app and grant the necessary permission but it will stop launching and say no obb be detected so we need to select the obb file to continue the installation tap on select manually button then navigate to the folder then select the multi one file then it will say obb found extracting the installation may take 3 to 10 minutes it depends on your device so i'm first forwarding the video then it will ask you to enable display over other apps option now you can launch the exogear and it's starting our processing speed depending on your android device once the application is opened you will see a empty desktop at the top there is a virtual GL overlay for other options click on the three lines at the top left corner after that click on manage containers now you will see a plus icon at the top just click on it to create a container again click on the three dots beside the container then click on settings to configure the container the very first option is a rename just to give a name it will easier to to identify if you create multiple containers the next option is a resolution you can set maximum 1920 into 1080p resolution if you scroll down you will find different types of expert ratio so you can set resolution as per your native display resolution higher resolution require higher requirements if you find your game lagging then come back to the settings then set a lower resolution color depth 32 bits the next option is renderer right now exagir has a few popular renderers but the most recommendable is a virtual gl and turnip if your device has a mali gpu you should select virtual gl if you are using snapdragon use turnip turnip is much much better than virtual gl also helps to run high configuration games exagir has several types of controls for different games but i would like to use the default one 
for me language is English, make sure to tick on high taskbar when launching the shortcut. Now let's install latest wine. Again click on the three lines then manage the container. This time click on the down arrow button. Here you can see a list of wine. We will install the latest wine of the list. Again click on the three lines then manage the container. Now tap on three dot beside the container then click on one. It will immediately start booting. Exagear will ask you to install wine mono installer. It's a very important component and it will give you some instruction on how to control this system. You can use a mouse or your fingers. You can zoom in or zoom out using two fingers. If you want to open any folder just double click on it. If you tap three fingers together the toggle toolbar will appear and if you tap again three fingers the toggle toolbar will disappear. Guys let's install PC games on Exagear emulator. You will need to place the games file inside the download folder of your phone storage. If you are wondering which games you should download just have a look at the screen. I have given few game suggestions that are playable on Exagear emulator. Before downloading any games be sure your device can handle it. After that move the game file to the download folder. Open the game folder and run the exe file. It will start installing like on PC. A shortcut will be created on the desktop. With all preparation complete it's time to play. I have installed Max Payne 2 on the Exagear emulator. Since this game is old and it doesn't require high configuration, Exagear offers virtual touch controls that mirror the PC game controls ensure a compatible gaming experience. So guys, now you can enjoy your favorite PC games on your Android phone. It's important to be mentioned that the performance and the gaming experience you achieve can substantially depend on your device specification. High-end devices are likely to run games more smoothly. No more today. See you in the next video. Take care.